Hi, Craig. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, man. How are you? Good. <laughs> good. So uh, tell me, you're uh, from Billings, right? Yep. I grew up, yeah, West End from Billings. West End. So you would be, uh, you're a West High Golden Bear then? or? Absolutely. Yeah. Class of 2018. <laughs> 2018. And now you're living in uh, Utah. You're going to BYU, right? Yeah. So I yeah, I live in Provo, go to BYU. I'm actually on a study abroad right now. I'm in Israel. Oh, um, is that right? I'll be here for a couple months. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I think that time difference got me thrown off on time of our anniversary. If I kept you waiting. For no, no problem at all. Uh, so is Israel like 12 hours difference or is it already tomorrow there? Or? Um, well, it's 8 p.m. right now. It's 8.05. So it's nine, uh, nine or 10 hours. Gotcha. Uh, That's crazy. Yeah. So, so tell me, how, the world. yeah, how did you end up uh, being on NBC's Capital One College Bowl with Peyton Manning? Uh, how, how, tell me the process. Yeah, well, so I'm I'm involved with the, the Quiz Bowl team at BYU. I actually started doing um, Quiz Bowler in uh, Montana. It's usually called Academic Team when I was at West. So the, the club started while I was a junior um, at West. Maureen Ladd was the, was the coach for us there. She teaches science. She's incredible. Really got me into like trivia and, um, you know, competitive academics. Really loved it. Um, and so I got involved once I, once I got to college, I got involved with BYU's team. And yeah, the, some producers from College Bowl had reached out to us and had some interest in having a, a BYU team on College Bowl. Gotcha. So so, a, yeah, so is it you and uh, you and a couple, how many, I can't remember, I did watch the show last season and we kind of enjoy it, but uh, I don't remember, is it like teams of four or? Yeah, so it's teams of three. Um, there's three of us on TV as well as there's an alternate as well that was there um, from, from our team as well that we, you know, worked with us. Yeah, practicing, getting ready for uh, for rounds and stuff like that. But there's three of us that competed. Gotcha. Have you ever been on a game show before, or is this this the first time? Or oh, this is the first time, and it was just a an incredible experience. Yeah. I bet. How how did do they do they kind of give you like uh, like categories that you can prep on? Because I've always wondered, like if you watch Jeopardy or any of the other shows, I'm like, how do people know all that stuff? I mean, some people are really good at certain topics, but do they kind of give you? like an overview of things that you might be asked or how does that, how does that work? Yeah. So what we did, we, we had watched the previous season. I had watched it when it came out um, and had really, really liked it. And so I was so excited when we found out that they were wanting to recruit a BYU team. Um, so I kind of, you know, looked at what the kind of questions that had been asked last season and kind of based the, the preparation that I did around, uh, around that kind of thing. It's really general, very general trivia. So it can be from any, any topic. And then I also just loved watching other trivia game shows. So we would practice a lot of um, Jeopardy matches and some other, some other trivia games as well. Um, it just helps, you know, get really well-rounded in, in those, those facts. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Do, what did you uh, feel the pressure? And I know maybe you probably can't talk about it, you know, until after the show airs. So we don't know how you're going to do until after September. Yeah. 9th. Are you on the, are you on the September 9th uh, episode? The, the Yeah, we are on the September 9th episode. So the season premiere, uh, mm -hmm. did you get, did, did you get nervous? Was there any questions that you just blanked out on? And then after the taping, you're like, oh my God, I totally knew that answer. <laughs> Uh, nothing. I mean, I, I'm just trying to remember back, but you know, it was always a little nerve wracking, you know, you're on, uh, on a sound stage with a bunch of cameras all over and yeah. Peyton Manning, one of you, you know, my, you know, your athletic heroes is up there. So yeah. sometimes, you know, it takes a second to, to get an answer come into you, but it, it overall it went really well. We were really happy with how we did. We're yeah. excited to have a show up. Uh, Manning seems he seems like a genuinely nice person and is that just a persona or is he actually a pretty nice guy you know Peyton Manning and and Cooper Manning is the other host they yeah. are the two two of the nicest people I've ever met in my whole life is that right I um, mean you know, we only had a had a few chances to to speak with them and pretty briefly but you know he had um, the first time I met him so there's a total of maybe 60 I think there's 64 65 students um, with the among the 65 or the 16 teams, sorry. Yeah. Um, and he had asked me a couple of questions and I said I was doing a study abroad in Israel. And, you know, the last time I spoke to him, he, he asked me again about that, something about it. And I was just amazed that he would like remember a fact like that about me. 
um, you know, even though there was all of these students there competing um, across a bunch of teams that he remembered that. Yeah. Um, just really genuine down to earth guys really had a great experience. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So did not you, a persona uh, at all. Did you uh, tape it over? Like how, uh, how walk me through the experience. You, you show up in L.A. and uh, they did you tape it over a couple hours? I mean, how does that work like behind behind the scenes kind of? Um, so we actually we did the taping in um, in Atlanta. Um, on a soundstage there in Atlanta um, and the process it was a, it was a couple of days um, you know whether we you know you got to stay whether or not you um, got stayed in or got out and so yeah. we got to kind of get the whole show making experience which was really cool that is pretty cool uh, are you going to try to parlay this into any other game show stuff do you apply for any of the other Oof. you know to... that's the dream honestly I, I had such a good time that I you know I'd love to be able to go on another game show someday We'll yeah. see if that that is in the cards. I've always, you know, been a really big Jeopardy fan, especially, um, you know, Ken Jennings, who hosts Jeopardy now. He's actually a BYU alumni. Nice. Um, and so and he was in in the on the Quiz Bowl team when he was at BYU as well. So I've always felt a little kinship there. I'd love to, to be on a, another game show someday. Yeah, You never know. You never know. Yeah. Uh, do you get back to Billings very often? Do your folks still live here or? Yeah, my my parents still live just yeah west a little west of Shiloh and uh, you very uh, really often. I spent most of the summer back home actually nice. um, in Billings, so um, it's always going to be home. Lived there since I was really really little. My dad grew up in the area, so gotcha. it was great when we got to you know come back to Billings. Yeah, that's cool. And uh, how many years? When do you graduate? When do you graduate from BYU? Um, I'm about two years out. Um, so yeah. About two years left. Two to go. Nice, nice. Uh, well, that's cool, man. What do you like to do in your in your spare time? You mentioned sports a little bit. Are you a Grizz fan or a Bobcat fan? Uh, my dad went to Montana State. So All right, there we go. Nice. Cats fan. Yeah. So, yeah, I love college football, especially I love, you know, being a BYU Cougar. Uh, you get to be a fan of, of our school and our football team. Yeah. I've been to a lot of games. It's super fun. I bet. Um, and yeah, then more of my spare time, I like, I play tennis, actually. I played tennis at West also. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, that stadium, that BYU stadium is pretty sweet. So oh, I, yeah. You've been there? I have been there. I lived in, in yeah. Utah for a couple of years, and uh, we were there for, what is it, the Ring of Fire or the big Fourth of July thing? Yeah. Yeah, that's Stadium cool. Fire, it's awesome. That is cool. Well, Craig Walker, uh, watch for you on TV, NBC's Capital One College Bowl, returning for the second season uh, next Friday, September 9th, a week from now. I look forward to watching it, and I'm looking forward to say, hey, there's that guy from Billings right there on TV. So uh, that'll be cool. Do you want to uh, say hi to any of your uh, friends or family back here back here in Billings, Montana? Yeah, just to my uh, my parents, Ed and Kathleen Walker, uh, my brother and my brother um, and sister-in-law, Grant and Annie Walker, they live in Billings. Uh, also, my sister and brother-in-law, Kelly and Jeremiah Henniger, also live there in Billings. So, hope you're tuning in. Uh, yeah, thanks, Michael. Absolutely, man. We'll be cheering you on. Uh, have a great day and uh, enjoy Israel. And uh, good luck, Craig. We'll talk to you some other time, okay? Thank you. Have a good one. All right. Thank you. Bye.